Hello viewers, 4DIYers here with another tutorial video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be doing a demonstration on how to clean a potentiometer switch. Show your support by hitting that subscribe button and help promote my channel by sharing your favorite videos on your social media pages. Potentiometer switches are found in a variety of applications, either in a linear or rotational movement, such as audio controls for volume, bass, treble, or lighting, etc. Here I am working with the speaker balance function on this car. Normally you will notice some sort of static or distortion when adjusting the potentiometer control which indicates that the contacts inside are dirty or damaged. Considering this isn't a sealed unit, obviously they are exposed to moisture and dust, causing conductivity issues. Here I'll just demonstrate what they may sound like. If it were to be damaged, this would mean that they're either worn from usage or have experienced arcing or contained burn spots within the carbon track. As you can hear, there is distortion when adjusting the potentiometer. Obviously, I am only playing static, but in between the static, there is distortion within the switch. The switch will need to be removed and disconnected from the power source. Sometimes these can be disassembled further, gaining access to the components inside, other times they cannot be. Here I have two different products made by Deoxit. Both are from their D-Series line, a specialty cleaner which is able to clean, lubricate, rejuvenate, deoxidize, fill any microscopic gaps, and reseal the surface for improved conductivity. Now you may be asking yourself, what is the difference between the two? First is the D5 spray, which has 5% of deoxid D100L, 75% odorless mineral spirits, and 20% defluorethylene. Next I have the D100L, which is in a small bottle. This particular version does have a brush in the cap, and this contains 100% of the D100L solution. Both products have a 20% cleaning action. Links to these products will be included in the description below. Considering I do not have direct access to the contacts within the switch, I will be using the D5 spray. First, we will need to find an opening to gain access to the contacts within the switch. Normally, it's best from the side, but this will vary between designs, especially if it's between a rotational and linear movement. Spray a short burst of the solution into the switch and operate to help remove the contaminants. Wait a moment. Then apply another short burst of spray to wash away the contaminants and provide some form of protection. Wait about two minutes before operation. If you do find there is a severe case of oxidization or corrosion, you may need to leave the switch, soak overnight, and then reapply the solution and clean with a lint-free cloth or swab. Reinstall and then test. As you can see the distortion issue has been fixed now. I do have some distortion in the volume control too, so again I would simply remove the radio, disassemble and then continue using the same procedure. New videos are being uploaded every week to my channel, so subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the button below the video. This concludes the rest of my video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think of my tutorial by leaving a comment below. Thank you for watching.